It starts with the cleaner commute. And the easiest way to do that is to share a ride by taking part in a carpool. Not only will it reduce the amount of pollution by reducing the number of cars on the highway, it will save you money too. Using mass transit, where available, is another good option. If your work schedule allows it, alter your schedule to avoid the morning and evening rush hour. Driving in lighter traffic will allow you to drive more efficiently with fewer starts and stops. And for the ultimate in savings, see if your employer allows telecommuting. Avoiding the drive into work, even for just a few days a month, can make a big difference. When you do drive, try to combine all your errands into one trip and avoid unnecessary idling when not in traffic. Places like drive through lines at banks and fast food restaurants and while waiting to pick up passengers. One minute of idling your vehicle produces as much carbon monoxide as the smoke from three packs of cigarettes, and idling just five to 10 minutes a day can add up to one to two tanks of fuel wasted each year. And speaking of fuel, refueling in the morning or evening when it's cooler can prevent gas fumes from heating up and creating ozone. When you're filling up, stop when the pump clicks off. Topping off your tank just releases more gas fumes into the air can also harm your car's anti-pollution devices. Finally, make sure your tires are properly inflated. Underinflated tires create more rolling resistance, making your engine work harder, burning more fuel, and creating more pollution. Maintaining your vehicle by following the manufacturer's recommendations for changing air and oil filters and tune-ups can keep it running longer and cleaner.